of the vessels, uh, 31 years of age, she's very young, she's the youngest member of parliament, she's 23, uh, Honorable Nahangari, and then she doesn't sound good, unemployment, youth, and employment creation. Uh, she's a member of parliament, plus she was a technical staff, and our uh, media person. We just want to hear what are the challenges in the border post. Now with Corona, we are seeing during Corona there was a lot of counterfeit whiskey coming into the country. <coughs> and uh, Stone Capital was the biggest culprit of entering the whiskey. Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> so we just want to know what is happening, how are you treating the situation? Our modern brothers are abusing our services now that the border is closed. What is the proximity? What are the challenges? the border post. Just briefly, no visual of duties to know what is happening on the police side, the roads, and customs and that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name is Mundum Bimbo. I'm the Chief Customs Officer mm -hmm. and the Officer in Charge for Customs in the border. Mm -hmm. And uh, the colleagues, we have got uh, customs in the border. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Police, mm -hmm. we've got immigrations, we've got the road facts administrations, mm -hmm. we've got by then it was Amta, now it's Namibia Agronomic Courts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a meet court of Namibia, but they discontinued their service here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so most of the border is closed for passengers, the travelers, mm -hmm. except for essential goods. Of mm. which this border is not so much busy even before mm. Corona. Mm. It was we are more export based, so mm. we had much of our exports were goods that were coming from Chicago. Mm. And then since the economy collapsed in Angola and then all that and so forth. So we are apart from Corona, we are just a quiet border. Mm. Yeah. Uh, how, many, know, how many people are you entering? On the travelers mm. in and out. Mm. That one, maybe the colleagues from maybe later because uh, mm. we are only from the police. The, the last part is it from Road Fund. The, the, the lady there is from immigration. Uh, agronomic or the immigration colleagues who just, who just continue to be joining us. Mm. Maybe you will know better precisely as to how many people here. I will more likely to give more on trade, mm. yeah, trade uh, exports and imports and uh, the volume of trade engage with our counterparts. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the on the volume of travelers that we clear in and out, maybe that one would be for the colleagues from immigration that they know better mm. before Corona and mm. even like now there's totally nothing. Yeah. Mm. In terms of our corporations, we have got good corporations domestically with the all the law enforcement. Mm. Most of our operations are coordinated, be it meetings, be it uh, outdoors activities, patrols, but um, operations, we always do our work together. We share resources, with the limited resources we have, be it vehicles, internet, parks, what have you, whatever we use, even procured materials, we always share. Mm. Yeah, on the Staff complement to the side of customs. We are not so many. Mm. We are six. Is it five? Six. Six, yeah. Mm. We are six. To the side of the Namibia mm -hmm. Agronomic Board, we are two. Oh, we are five. We are five. Mm. Oh. <laughs> because the, on our establishment, we were many, then there would have been some transfer and things like that. So the number mm. of trustees. To the side of the in transit from Angola to, Kali, to Angola from here to Kalai. Oh, okay. Yes, but it's not that much. No, okay. mm. But the mandate is on the control controlled product, mm. agronomic products mm. that require some require permits, some they are regulated due to quotas mm. to protect the local industry. Now and then it's open and so forth. Be it potato and many agricultural products. That's mm -hmm. why we control including grains and so forth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then also assist uh, to unsell un drugs like in Kurinkuru, Pungu, and Kajikam. Because when they enter Namibia, they sell them. Mm -hmm. Then we will 
Sometimes you hit the answer the track. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> fans, they are just they want to control if the cross border charges or the vehicles. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. Just the vehicles have to pay for our roads <laughs> and mass distance charges, the vehicles that are leaving mm-hmm. trucks and so that's what they, they also do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they have to we also have relations with our counterparts during the time that it was not for the corona we also have cross-border meetings mm-hmm. sometimes whereby we you know bordering with the river we experience a lot of rain but i would say uh, 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 the porous borders the smuggling activity takes place in the night and mm-hmm. even, even this side we, the, the there's no cut line fence separating like maybe that that should go from Kapipi to Oshkalmo to say you are now in Namibia. No, but no, the line. There was a small one, but it was destroyed. So around or when I go there, it's just open. Yeah, so it finds it's a challenge to us as border enforcement. Even when we do, when we do uh, joint border patrols, we find that maybe you find some of the Namibians are in Angola. Some of our colleagues are in Namibia, maybe due to cattle farming and things mm. like that. If we speak to them, we are told, no, the government has agreed, no, that is politics. Mm. <laughs> well, our side would all get attacked according to the Immigration Control Act, it's mm. like this, according to, yeah, quite a challenge. How long do you patrol with Oh, we patrol. 50 kilometers of the vehicle, shooting the system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, patrol every time. But they are smugglers always smuggling. Oh. They are always five steps ahead of us. Because a lot of Angolan goods are entering the market, especially during Corona. Alcohol. Mm-hmm. Massive alcohol is coming in, and I was wondering what is that doing. Oh, home. Yes. And you see, you must have a scrambler. Mm-hmm. If you really want to do border patrol, you need to have scramblers. Four by four scramblers, two by four scramblers. Because there are no, there are no roads there. You might just have to. Mm-hmm. In terms of villages that are very that are in the close proximity of them, because what what the problem with our border is that they know no man's land. There is no way that you can say this is part of Namibia, this part of the world. You must just have to guess, unless you go to the latitude, the longer you like. Yeah, we are having a mess. You have that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, that man's from the river, they went up to Angola, they went up to Shukam or something like that. Because whenever we go to Fatima, we go along the land's land, the yeah. road. But the river is ending where? Into Angola now. Yes. That's the time that yeah, it is now. Which we just went. Our borderline is just coming. Now the Nobles land between Angola and Angola. There are farmers farming there. That Nobles land is just like a corridor. There's a cut line for the government for Namibia. There's just a portion of maybe how many meters? Two cars in maybe. Yeah. A car at all. Yeah. Maybe a six meter corridor portion. Oh. Yeah. And then it goes further than I don't know how many kilos. Then from there, it's just an open, an open area. Unless you find beacons or something. Mm. Then you can yeah. Yeah. And then, and, and then the result, it, it becomes a challenge for us, <coughs> border enforcement officers. When we do patrols, we find that Namibians, like last time we had patrol, Namibians are found farming in Angola because the, the soil is fertile. There's no it's very difficult to control you mm. now. <coughs> Sometimes we cannot go deep in Angola mm. unless when you have a, 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 joint, operation. a joint operation it should be approved by our principals in our countries mm. and things like that.